What up, dolls? T is in the house, and man, it's a new year. We've got a new year, new figures. Um, some of these figures are going to be left over from last year just because it took a while to get them. And uh, I need to do my top 20 for the year, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till the weekend. Everybody's getting their top lists out. I'm going to have to really think about mine. I, I can't just like just pop one off right off my head. I'm going to have to really think about it. Anyways, uh, but what we got to check out today is the worst Captain Dreadstar, the Cosmic Ghoul Renegade. I purchased, I think, the first couple waves. I think it was the first wave of the worst figures way back when, when I was doing a lot of uh, Super 7 stuff. And um, right now, I'm just cherry-picking Super 7. Uh, they're always coming out with stuff. So, And then some of their ultimates kind of take a while to come out. They do, like, I think we're still waiting on the first wave of Simpsons figures, I think. And there's a couple of those I wanted to get. But I was going to just wait till BBTS gets them. Because uh, BBTS is always it's a good hookup for figures, for sure. Anyways, um, yeah, man, we're going to go ahead and uh, unbox this guy. And puppy is sealed. It's sealed to the brim, man. Uh, it's, you got that awesome art from Ed Repka. We all know him from Megadeth and Death and you name it, man. He's done uh, he's done some badass art for a lot of cool metal. And you know, this man. box is pretty much the same that we've seen so far from the Super 7 Ultimates. And uh, yeah, man, let's go ahead and hopefully dig into this. Oh, that's rad. I like that. That's really cool. Nice work on the boxes. Too bad I usually throw them out, man. I, I don't really save a lot of boxes, but this one actually seems worth saving just because of the Ed Repka art. Just slide that right off. We got our figure, man. That is freaking cool. That is freaking sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And here's our bio on Captain Dreadstar, Cosmic Ghoul Renegade. Avaski, Captain Dreadstar, the Cosmic Ghoul Renegade, sells the seven galaxies. Pillaging planets and blasting starships to Davy Jones, a space locker. Through charted and uncharted space, the salty space dog steals and horn swoggles any and all mystic relics of space booty. Ha, <laughs> that's funny. He can find, or any space booty he can find, and satisfies his carousers thirst for adventure along the way. Beware all those who, that stand in his way, whether ye be marooned, in an asteroid or forced to walk the plank over a black hole, Captain Dreadstar takes no prisoner. That you know, that reminds me of um Captain Harlock. Makes me think of that that anime. That was a really cool, cool movie. I think there was like old school version and a new school movie of that. It was really, really cool. Anyways, there are good guys, there are bad guys, and there are, are the worst. So yeah, man. I finally got an ultimate of this dude. Well, the only thing we can do next is just Get him the hell out and check him out. Alrighty, folks, and here's our beloved Captain Dreadstar. He comes with a ton of stuff, man. This is really cool. Uh, I like all the little accessories and doohickeys that he comes with. It's really rad. He's got a skeleton key. This thing's freaking cool. Really nice, man. Really nice detail on that. I dig it a lot. That is cool. Every skeleton guy needs a skeleton key, so yeah. Good job on that. He's got a space map. So you can go hunting for space treasure, I guess, out in the galaxy. So that's freaking cool. Um, he comes with two of the same parrot, but it's dead. It's got its eyes X'd out, which is hilarious. So he pegs on somewhere. Somewhere on him. I don't know where, but we'll figure that out. Here's another one with the wings down. Freaking cool, man. Really cool. I dig it. And this is, I thought this was hilarious. Oh, there's still some tape schmutz on here. But, uh. He comes with a shit list. Let's see, good guys. Hold on, let's see if we can focus in on that a bit. Yeah, good guys. Slash that out. Saviors, slash that out. Heroes, slash that out. <laughs> the living, your mom. That's hilarious, dude. I gotta get that tape off there. That's freaking funny. And then with one of his parrot, wing, or parrot feathers, he's got a pen so he can scribble that on his little notepad. It's freaking good, man. They did a really good job on their accessories, man. They're definitely rivaling um, Mezco, man. This is a good figure. It's got a turkey leg, which is freaking awesome. It's got his infamous Captain Dreadstar flaming sword, which is red. And yeah, this is all just one piece. But yeah, it's freaking cool, man. Really rad. And I guess if you wanted to, you could probably add some kind of chain to it or something. That'd be cool, too. That'd be rad. Um, and he's got a bottle of booze or some kind of moonshine. That is freaking awesome. 
And he's got some kind of thermal detonator. So that's cool too. Harkens to Star Wars. And then we got a, he's got a big old holy hand or ball cup in hand. So that's cool. You can put his 40 ounce in there. Comes with an extra head with one eye. So that's rad. It's all one eye willy, dude. He's got a gold tooth. We're, we're both missing the same tooth, I think. That's hilarious. That's awesome. And then we have a uh, open mouth with uh, with eye patch. So that's rad. It's a really good sculpt they did on these. Really freaking cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, I'm glad I got these, man. I was almost not going to do anything tonight, but I was like, man, we got to check some of these out. Here's a fist. Another fist. And I think that's it for the extra hands. So, yeah, I think I believe that is it. I think that's all that we have. There might be another one somewhere, but I'm not sure. Um, I think that's all of them. I'm pretty positive, but yeah, that's it. Anyways, we got a treasure, a treasure chest that opens up so you can put all your loot in there and stuff. So that's cool. Did a good job on this. That's freaking rad. Really cool. Next up, we'll just check out his uh, articulation. Alrighty, we got a soft goods cape that's got wires in it. So that's rad, just like our King Diamond did. So you can have it flowing in the wind. That is rad. Still don't know where you're going to put the parrot, though. Oh, yeah. You can go right there on the shoulder. So, yeah, you can take that off. And then, uh, I guess, peg that in. Let's see if we can get it pegged in. Yeah, there you go. So that's cool, man. Totally. That's rad. That is freaking cool. That is amazeballs. Anyways. Let's see, we can, then it's a Velcro strap, so we can just easily take it off, which is awesome. Yeah, he's freaking cool. That is rad. It's not bad, man, not bad. Not bad at all. He's got like um, double jointed elbows, <laughs> that's funny. And it swivels, so that's good. And we got a side hinge, swivel right there. And he's got a laser gun, which is rad. I think it comes out. Yeah, here's his laser pistol. Man, they just spoiled this on accessories. Look at this thing's rad. That is really cool. Anyhow, got a waist twist. Somewhat of a diaphragm that doesn't really do much. But yeah, there we go. All the way around. He's not going to... Oh, he can actually do pretty good splitsies. That's really not bad. That's really good. He's got knees. That swivel. No cut in the boot. And then, yeah, right there. Just a rocker pivot swivel and all that. So that's cool. Then we got his robotic peg leg, which is rad. That is cool, man. He's a freaking rad figure. I totally dig this dude. He's freaking rad. And he stands pretty well even with his peg leg. That is awesome. That is just really, really cool. And here we have him posed with his gun, ready to shoot and uh, and swing his flame sword. It's freaking rad, man. I love this figure, dude. He's really cool. He's not bad. He is really not bad for Super Seven. They do pretty good. I don't. I wouldn't say they're as good as. I don't know, man. Their Super Seven stuff is pretty good, but it's not perfect. But it's not bad at all. I like it. It's cool. I like it a lot. It's really not bad. Um, but yeah, it's it's not it's not as good as some of the newer Mezcos. Um, yeah, it's 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 pretty decent, man. It's pretty decent. I, I wouldn't say it's like the most perfect figure as like far as one twelve stuff goes. But um, but then again, I haven't picked up any Mayfex stuff or whatever in a while because some of the Mayfexes I had way back in the day were really crap. But um, but some of the new ones, yeah. This figure, he's kind of loose right here. I don't know what his deal is, but he's like kind of loose. So I don't know what the hell that is. Could be just my figure, but whatever. You can see that crack right there. It's not broken. It's just kind of loose when it's put together, I guess. But other than that, it's still a really nice figure. I still dig him a lot. That face sculpt is amazing. That skull. He's pretty rad, man. He's not bad for the price. He's really, really not bad at all. I really dig him. Yeah, I have to say, all in all, this is like probably, I don't know, it's, this is probably one of my favorite figures of the year, even though I got it after the year's over with already at the beginning of the new year. But this is a cool figure. I really dig him. He's piratey. He's spacey. Um, 
he comes with uh, booze. You know, he's, he's enjoying his rot gut and a turkey leg, so that's freaking awesome. He's got his dead parrot. It's, I guess, zombie parrot. I don't know what the hell, but yeah. And uh, yeah, just a really fun figure. This, this thing is really cool. Uh, like I said before, is it perfect? No, not at all. But is it worth it? Yeah, I think so, most definitely. For real, for real. It's a lot cheaper than getting a Mezco, which I love my Mezcos. It was cheaper than our good old, uh, our good old Bob Toys Crazy Jack, but still, this is a badass figure. And um, yeah, probably about the same, you know, same price you pay for a Mythic Legions or whatever on BBTS or whatever. Anyways, uh, this is a cool figure. Uh, I, I got it on BigBadToyStore.com, so go check them out and go grab it because it's worth it. If you like pirates and stuff, it's it's really cool. I really dig this figure. He's really awesome. I didn't think I knew I was gonna dig it, but I wasn't. I was like, I was like, eh, I'm gonna, you know, just because I spoil myself or whatever, and um, or my inner child, and I was just like, eh, you know, I'm gonna get it and stuff. Anyways, we're gonna have it. It's gonna be whatever. It's gonna be cool. But I didn't know it was gonna be this cool. So. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's pretty damn cool. Pretty damn freaking cool, man. I like them a lot. Anyways, uh, if that confuses you at all, because it kind of confuses me. But uh, another thing, too, man, you got that skeleton key. That's cool, man. You forgot you could use it for your uh, for your treasure chest. That is freaking awesome, man. Let's see if that fits in there real quick. Uh, a little bit. Not much. It's not supposed to really work on it or anything, but that's cool. You can pretend. You can pretend, man. It's a toy. Anyways, uh, that's it for our look at uh, Captain Dreadstar, man. Really dig him a lot. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments, whether you think this is a worthy purchase or not. Um, I say he is. He's cool, man. He's really, really freaking cool. Anyways, thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one. All right, later.